Anyway, guys, so I so this is the Bitcoin uh, against USD chart, right? This is the, the three day chart, actually, right? And when we go back to 2014, something uh, kind of like uh, interesting that we can see, right, is that every time Bitcoin went on a, I mean, on this time, right, it went on a holy 58,474,000% rally, right? Uh, after that, right, when the bear market basically started, the kind of like the way that the bear market started was like Bitcoin came down, right, to test the 103-day uh, simple moving average, right? Then it rebounded from the 103-day simple moving average above the 53-day simple moving average, right, before it finally just crashed, uh, of course, below all of the moving average, right, even below the 200-day moving average, which, I mean, from the from the point that that it basically touched the the 103 day moving average, right, it went down by 60 percent, right. Uh, I'm, I'm 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 like one of the one of the main things that I've been looking at, right, is basically that that touch of the 100 uh, three day moving average, uh, because uh, because in a bull market, right, you don't you don't usually get those touches, right. Every time. I have seen within the within the past few years, right, that Bitcoin comes down and touches that 100 uh, three-day moving average. Then it marks the beginning of a of a bear cycle, right? Just like it did right here, right now in in 2014, right? Kind of like the same thing happened in 2020 after a basically a 12,000 percent, uh, you know, bull run. Bitcoin basically came down. Right, dropped to, to, to touch that 103 day moving average, then rebounded from that level. Right, it uh, basically moved above the 50 uh, three day moving average. Right, and then it basically, I mean, it consolidated for a little while until it finally crashed. Right, the percentage drop from that first touch of the 103 day uh, moving average was around like 47% back in 2018. Right. Uh, kind of like the same thing happened in the in the in the in the bull run that we have between uh, December 2018 and and basically Ju June 2019, where we basically come down right after you know just rallying uh, around 340 percent. We come down to test the 103 day uh, simple moving average. Then we rebound uh, right above the 53 day moving average. To then finally just crash, right? And from that touch right there of the of the 103 day moving average, we basically came down like around 46 percent, right? Right now, within the current cycle, something similar has happened, right? So basically, Bitcoin went up about 1,550 percent, right? And now it has come down to touch the 103 day moving average, and right now it's consolidated around here, right? So. Uh, I forgot to, to mention that, but based on the on the I mean the average time that Bitcoin basically spent from the first time that it touched uh, the 103 moving average within the the last three cycles that I just explained to you guys, right? Uh, it took around like 141 days. Uh, you know, I believe in back in 2014 it was around 279 days, right? For then the kind of like the the final dump to actually come to fruition, right? Uh, in 2018 it was around 246 days, and in 2019 it was basically 140 days, right? So kind of like the average of all of those times was around 141 days, right? Uh, so I believe, right, that within this time, right, this consolidation time that we're going to have right here, Bitcoin is going to come back up above the 53-day moving average, right? We, we represent a 61% upstream from that first touch, right? It's gonna come all the way up to yeah, I'm guessing like 48, 50 thousand, right? Get a lot of people really excited to then finally come and crash below the the 200 three day moving average, right? Which the target that I'm currently looking at again is still 15 thousand dollars. Of course, uh, we're not in the same uh, period as the previous uh, bull cycles, right? Right now we have a lot of institutional interest, right? We have uh, El Salvador trying to to you know make Bitcoin legal and and get everybody some some Bitcoin within the country, right? Um, so it may not happen exactly the same, right? But it's just uh, it's just something that I noticed that tends to happen 
and it tends to mark the beginning of a, of a new bear cycle, right? Every time Bitcoin comes down and touches the 100 three-day moving average. Uh, so basically for the next uh, few weeks, uh, what I'm expecting is a rebound all the way up to 48,000, maybe 40, yeah, between, I would say between 43,000 and 40 and 48,000. And then from that point, basically uh, come all the way down to around $15,000 and basically just drop below the 200 day, uh, 203 day moving average. But yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at guys. Um, 